Our civic society organizations have been urged to collaborate with government arms in crafting development statutes. The Zimbabwe Gender Commission, working with the Women in Law in Southern Africa, as well as the Institute for Young Women's Development, tabled their model Gender Equality Bill before Parliamentary Portfolio Committee representatives. We should change it from the Ministry of Women Affairs to the Ministry of Gender Equality, or the Ministry of Gender. <laughs> because the more that you are continuing to be falling under the Ministry of Women, I feel that you are also disadvantaging men to some extent. The issues that we want the bill to address really are issues to do with equal representation of women um, in key decision-making positions across the sectors, so in politics, in the economy, uh, in social sphere. The Parliamentary Portfolio Committee representatives applauded the civic society organizations for diverting from a confrontational path in raising their grievances. Uh, here's a starting point in terms of uh, coming up with the gender equality bill, which is uh, very important in terms of implementing what has been uh, outlined in the constitution in terms of achieving the gender parity. I'm very happy that we now have civic society that understands that the way to implement or the way to get things done is to engage with the relative state uh, institutions, which is parliament and the ministries. Which is Noted in the draft gender equality bill is the expansion of the mandate of the gender commission to be inclusive.